Hi, I'm Sasha from Florida. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. My mom always told me that when I was born, I came like a ray of sunshine in their lives. My parents were struggling financially and were the poorest in their families, but I was a special kid. They could tell from the start that I was super bright and I could read and count when I was only three. This made them so proud, especially since my brother, Damien, who was two years older than me, was just a troublemaker. <laughs> Once when I was five, Damien and I were playing baseball in our small yard and I told him not to throw so far, but he wouldn't listen. Relax, Sasha, don't be such a nagging baby. But Damien, the neighbors. He threw it again and this time it broke the neighbor's window, which my parents had to pay for. Damien, you're not getting a Christmas gift this year after that stunt. You're always getting into trouble and costing us money we can't afford. I told him not to throw so high, Mom. Of course you did, baby. I wish your brother was smart like you. Damien looked at me with pure hatred. And ever since then, we fought like cats and dogs, and there was no peace in the house with us around. I kept excelling at school, and with time, my parents' struggles also started getting easier. Dad got a job in the city planning department and he had a good salary now. The only one getting worse was Damien. He failed 10th grade twice and now we were in the same class. If you fail another year, you'll have to find a part-time job and pay for your own school fees. I am not spending my hard-earned money on your failures. Sasha, why don't you help Damien with his math? Heck no, I don't want any help from Little Miss Perfect. It's not like I'm dying to teach you, but this is just getting embarrassing, bro. Take my help if you ever want to leave high school. I tried my best to help Damien, but he was such a thick-headed student. How could someone's IQ be this low? One day, while we were sitting at the local ice cream shop going through his homework, this fancy, overdressed girl sitting at a table opposite us started yelling at the waiter for accidentally spilling a milkshake on her. You stupid fool! Look at what you did to my Gucci top! Even though the waiter apologized 10 times, the girl kept being a jerk and told him she wasn't paying for her food. She started walking out, and just as she was passing by our table, her shoe's heel broke and she tripped. But Damien moved at some lightning speed and caught her just before she fell. It was like watching a Bollywood movie in slow motion. The two were staring deep into each other's eyes till I interrupted. Ahem, <clears throat> hey, Superman, <laughs> these algebra exercises won't solve themselves. Thank you so much. You really are my Superman. You saved my life. I'm Chanel. Watching Dumb and Dumber making gaga eyes at each other was making me nauseous. So I left them and took the bus home. But I was surprised to see Damien and Chanel already there. How did you get here so fast? Chanel drives a Lamborghini. Didn't you see it parked outside? What surprised me even more was that my parents were smiling from ear to ear at her. Her father is actually one of the richest people in town. Yes, and your brother and Chanel are dating now. Isn't that amazing? Dating? They just met. I had no idea what this girl saw in my brother or what she wanted from him. So when she was leaving, I caught up with her. Excuse me, Chanel, right? Yes, and you're Sasha. Your parents tell me you're so smart. Yeah, and I love my family very much. And even though my brother's dumb, I don't want to see him get hurt. So what's your deal? <laughs> what do you mean? I just like him, and I'm going to ask my daddy to transfer him to my school. I didn't think Chanel was serious. But a month later, Damien was going to her school, and she was coming over to our house for Sunday lunches. My parents started giving Damien all their attention, and I stopped existing. Damien, my darling, we're so proud of you. We always knew that there was something special about you. Hey guys, I got selected to participate in the international math competition. Oh, that's nice, dear. Oh, and Chanel, thank you for speaking to your father. Because of you, I now have a good job at the bank. But mom, you don't even have any banking qualifications. Who needs qualifications when you know people in high places? My house was turning into a fake zone and everything was about Chanel and Damien now. I wasn't used to this at all. When I was in 11th grade, Chanel invited us to her mansion for her birthday party. We were welcomed warmly by her mother, but her father was forever on a phone call. While my family were busy mingling with the rich, I found a quiet place on a balcony. Just then, this tall Superman-type guy appeared beside me, and I immediately felt nervous. 
The view is beautiful from here. I'm Clinton, by the way. I haven't seen you at any of Chanel's parties before. I'm her boyfriend's sister, not really a close friend. How are you related? Oh, I'm her ex... ex-boyfriend. Why would you come to her party? Her father and I are very close, and he still wants me and his daughter back together. What? But she's with my brother. Chanel's father has helped me and my family a lot, so I'd do anything to help him out. Like, break up my brother and Chanel? Is that what her dad wants? And you'd do it? That's just crazy. They've been together for a year now, and they're in love. That's what you think. Sasha, what are you doing here with this jerk? He's obsessed with Chanel and keeps asking me to break up with her because he wants her back. You are such a fool. I'm just trying to help you, dude. Damien lunged forward to punch Clinton, who pushed him away roughly to defend himself. Just then, Damien tripped on a rug and landed hard on the floor. Damien! He was unconscious and we quickly called an ambulance. While my parents and I sat in the hospital waiting room, I went to get some water when I found Chanel in Clinton's arms. You lying, cheating snake! My brother's seriously hurt, and you're here playing makeup with your stupid ex. You can't talk to me like that, Sasha. Oh, drop the act, you witch. Sasha, why are you making such a commotion? Because your son is in the hospital, and it's all because of this stupid girl you adore. Just then, I spotted Grandma's pearl necklace around Chanel's neck. Hey, what are you doing with that necklace? It was a gift from your mother. Mom, why would you give her that? You always said it was mine. Sasha, please calm down. Chanel has done so much for our family since she came into our lives. You need to be more thankful. Chanel is fooling all of you. She is not who she seems. Enough of your jealousy. Not everything is about you, Sasha. After my dad said that, I suddenly lost it and pulled the pearls off Chanel's neck, sending them flying everywhere. I ran away before my blind, foolish family could say more. When I went to see Damien later, he did not look great. You bruise like a peach, bro. But I'm glad you're awake. <laughs> We're Chanel. Listen, there's something I need to tell- I'm right here, Damien. Oh, you had me really scared, babe. Damien, don't trust anything she says. Just hear me out first. Sasha, just mind your business, okay? Chanel is the love of my life. Now please, get out. I saw that I was just wasting my time with my family, so I stopped talking to everyone and minded my own business. But a week later, everything came crashing down. Damien came home looking devastated because Chanel had broken up with him without any explanation. And when mom returned, she said she'd also lost her banking job. I should have listened to you, Sasha. Chanel just threw me away like a toy she got bored of. And now, I'm back to being nothing. But you were never nothing, Damien. Yes, I was. I was always a disappointment next to you. But once I started dating Chanel, they finally noticed me. I was worth something. It was true. I'd enjoyed all their attention without ever thinking about how he felt. And for the first time, I hugged him. Just then, Dad appeared, looking frantic. Chanel is a bigger traitor than we could have imagined. She stole some important work documents from my study, which proved that our entire neighborhood was built on some illegal land decades ago. Her father has those documents now, and he's planning to demolish the whole neighborhood to set up his factory here. Son, I think this is why she was dating you all along. And now, we'll lose our house, and I'll definitely lose my job. I couldn't believe how far Chanel had gone to deceive us all, and I had to do something. I was sitting at the local cafe, wondering what could be done, when I spotted Clinton in the corner, looking upset. Why do you look like you've been crying? Aren't you back with Chanel? No, I'm not. That day at the hospital, I was only hugging her because she was really upset about your brother. Whose heart she broke, by the way. Upset my butt? She totally used him! You don't know everything. It's all because of her dad. Anyway, I told him I didn't want to get back with Chanel because I don't love her, and he fired me from his company. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but right now, I have to figure out how to save our entire neighborhood from getting bulldozed by Chanel's dad. I know how you can stop him. Look, I still don't really trust you, but I'm listening. Clinton told me that Chanel's father had some important documents in his safe at home, which proved he'd committed fraud to steal people's lands. I still have the access card to his home office, and the whole family goes to the golf course every Saturday morning. That's when we can get in. If we expose him, he'll be ruined. 
I was very nervous about this whole plan, but a lot of people were about to lose their homes, so I had to try. When the day arrived, we managed to get into his office and get the documents from the safe when suddenly, Chanel walked in. What are you doing here? Chanel, uh, I... I should call the police. I was scared out of my wits, but suddenly she took my hand. But I won't. My dad's been using me for his dirty business all this time, and I'm sick of it. I don't want anyone to lose their homes. So go and save your neighborhood. I suddenly hugged her. Thank you, and I'm sorry. No, you had every right to be angry. But you have to know, even if it started off as an act, I really did fall in love with your brother. Come on, Sasha, we have to go. They'll be back any moment now. The documents we had were enough proof to get tons of lawsuits slapped on Chanel's dad and shut his illegal businesses for good. And our neighborhood was safe. You did it, Sasha. We're so proud of you, love. Well, I wasn't alone. Clinton helped me and Chanel. Just then the two walked in and Damien looked furious. What? Why would you have anything to do with these people, especially her, after what she did? She only hurt you because of her father, Damien. You have to give her a chance. Yeah, and all that time I warned you about breaking up with Chanel, I was just trying to protect you from her dad's plans. Because you're a good guy, Damien. Also, you should listen to your sister because she's strong and smart. I was taken aback by Clinton's words, and the way he looked at me gave me butterflies. We don't know about Damien, but we will never forgive her. Mom, Dad, you aren't completely innocent here either. You only started giving Damien attention when he brought a rich girlfriend home. And you accepted all kinds of favors from Chanel, even though you didn't deserve them. Let's just all forgive each other and start over, okay? We left Damien and Chanel to talk things over, and I was certain things would be right between them, because they truly loved each other. We make a good team, don't we? I guess you could say that. We should, uh, team up more often. Okay, I'll contact you next time there's another neighborhood that needs to be saved. Or, how about you try to understand what I'm saying and realize I'm asking you out? Yeah, I understood that the first time. And sure, why not?